Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in having a guy that you're connecting with be more open with you in his communication, you want to watch my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Ask Vern, where any of you amazing, smart, insightful women get to ask me a question by submitting a comment on any of my videos, and I create a video reply to give you some insights. Today's question really gets at the heart of how do you get your guy to be more expressive, more open, tell you more of what he's feeling instead of just what he's thinking, right? So uh, the specific question comes from Lyric G who says, Hi Bern, I consistently ask my guy to be more open and expressive with me, to which he always agrees, yet he never does. What else can I do to help him put his guard down? Thank you. So here's the thing, Lyric G, if you want to get your guy to communicate better with you, there's, I'm going to give you a five-step framework that's going to help you or anyone else listening to me right now, whether you're at the beginning of a relationship, whether you're in a committed relationship already, to get your guy to be more expressive and go beyond just groaning uh -uh, or giving you one-word answers, which is not fun for any of you, right? The first thing I want you to understand is that uh, he's not your girlfriend, okay? And the reason why I say this in a playful way is because most women have in somewhere in their psyche this illusion that their guy is going to be as expressive as Shakespeare <laughs> Shakespeare, or as one of his girlfriends in terms of emotions. And that is just not the case. So just get out of your mind. Some guys have the capacity to do it, but most men don't. And it's okay. We're designed differently and we communicate differently. If you understand fundamentally that we communicate differently and that he's not going to be as expressive as your girlfriend, then the, the question becomes, how can I open his heart so that he at least gives me a bigger sense of what he's feeling right and I get a chance to feel less anxious and more in the know of really where the relationship is going that's really what the basis of this answer is so I'm gonna say step number two beyond the understanding he's not your girlfriend is increase playfulness and passion first here's why because you're gonna ask for something when you ask for something and you give something first it's a lot easier for you to get what you want and increasing playfulness and passion starts creating something in a guy it starts creating this idea this identity that being with you and communicating with you is fun and safe and playful okay when you start creating this playfulness and passion aliveness type of atmosphere with your guy where things are fun things are light things are creative then he his guard starts going down which is the first step that needs to take place for him to open his heart for you his heart his guard has to be down and the best way to do it is by increasing playfulness with him the next one will be ask for what you want and ask better questions it seems to me like if you're already asking your guy that i want you to be more expressive you might be going about it the wrong way here's why because number one when you communicate to a man be very direct in what you want but also Ask in a way that he's going to be compelled to answer the question. So ask better questions. Sometimes when you ask a question that's too daunting for a man, like, where is this relationship going? That's humongous. It's like saying, well, <laughs> what is the meaning of life, right? But if you ask specific questions first, not that you should never ask where the relationship is going, but if you ask specific questions first that give you more certainty and give you more of a clue around where he is, that's going to make it easier to ask those bigger questions later on. So for example, ask, what do you feel is most fun between us that's a very specific question when do you enjoy connecting with me most that's a specific question what is the most i don't know x that you've ever felt with me that's a specific question so he basically what you're doing is you're creating situations where it's a simple question that he can answer and he can say okay answer this question boom i win it's not too difficult and not only that she lights up so it's a double thing in his mind. Something's happening. He's basically understanding that A, you're being playful. B, you're asking specific questions. C, he can wing as he can answer those questions. And D, you actually light up. So it's a win-win situation for, for, for all of you, right? The next one, point number four, is give him an emotional reason that hits him in the chest. Here's what I mean. A lot of women, when they don't get what they want, their guy's not being expressive, they play games. You, ask, you act like you're pissed. You basically don't give him sex or you, you basically punish him in some way where he doesn't really understand the direct relationship between the action you're taking and the fact that he's not communicating with you, right? So when he's not communicating or he's failing to do something beyond just being playful, if you feel hurt, if you feel anxious, if you feel upset, be willing to go into your vulnerability and say, you know what, whenever I express this to you and I don't get an answer, 
this is how I feel and go into it, feel it. Let him hit him in the chest where he feels that his actions have a direct impact in you. So where he feels a bigger need to get out of himself if he's not an a-hole, right? If he's a guy who's really interested in giving, he's gonna feel more compelled, more inner driven to do something about it. Why? Even if it's difficult, because he doesn't wanna feel, make you feel hurt, he doesn't wanna make you feel upset, but if you're just pissed, when you really are hurt, he's not gonna get it, right? The last one is catch him doing it right and reinforce it. Here's what I mean. When a guy starts communicating with you, you're gonna start creating a new neuro association in his psyche, right? Which means communicating with you, being more open, expressing my aliveness, expressing my heart, expressing what I really feel is fun and it's easy. Whenever he does it even one-tenth of the way you want him to do it, reinforce it, say, man, I love this. Uh, if he is doing it more consistently, and you reinforce this, or even if he's not doing consistently, but you reinforce the fact that he's doing something half right, he's going to want to go inside himself and do it again and do it better because he knows he gets a reward, right? If you're training a dog, right, to you throw something at him and he comes back, well, you give him a little bone, right? You give him something. Same thing with a guy. We're not that different, believe it or not. If he's doing something right and you reinforce his behavior, he's going to be much more compelled to go for that than if you're just nagging at him for not doing it right or if you're not being expressive or vulnerable about how you're feeling. Hope this makes sense. And if you find this is insightful, helpful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Right now, click like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and most important of all, if you do nothing else, there's gonna be on the description of this video or on the little button, there's gonna be a little button that appears right now on your video. If you click it, it's gonna take you to a place where you can enroll on my free live webinar that's gonna give you a blueprint on how to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. Uh, thank you so much, if you have any questions for me, Post a comment on this video or any of my other videos and I'll reply personally or better yet, create a video for you. Thank you so much. Mwah.